Welcome to Young Body TV. Back at it once again. If you tuned in to me today, hit that like, share, subscribe. If not, we ain't doing no tripping. I ain't been on here for a minute. You know what I'm saying? And I got a, uh, what I'm talking about today is a story that's something that happened in my life. But before I get into this story, it's a, uh, uh, that I got to let you know, all glory to the highest God. I'm going to show you what God can do. All right. Now, it's a story within another story. All right. Now, this story about when I was about seven, eight years old, you know what I'm saying? I was playing with a, a, a neighborhood buddy of mine. And I was like I said, I was seven, eight years old. Me and this guy, me and this buddy of mine, we was climbing a tree. You know what I'm saying? This ain't wasn't the first time we was climbing trees. Just this particular day, you know what I mean? We try to race to see who can get to the top of the tree without falling out of it. You know what I'm saying? So, at first, dude was higher than me. And then I ended up eventually getting higher than him. But, you know what I mean? A branch broke. You know what I mean? I fell out of it. You know what I'm saying? So, when I fell out the tree... And I hit the ground, I blacked out. You know what I'm saying? And the next time I woke up, the whole neighborhood was surrounding me. You know what I'm saying? And I couldn't move, I couldn't get up. You know what I mean? So I ended up going to the hospital, the ambulance take me off, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Get to the hospital, they taking x-rays. And I'm telling them I can't move, I can't move my arms, I can't move, like I can't stand up. So they take an x-rays of me and they saying ain't nothing wrong with me. So we end up leaving that night, but my mom and my dad had to carry me. You know what I'm saying? They had to carry me. I mean, everywhere they had to carry me to the restroom. They had to help me eat. I couldn't do nothing on my own. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the doctors told, told my people that I'm going to be paralyzed for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? I was kind of down, you know what I mean? When the doctor said, damn, it ain't looking good for you. You're, going, you're, going, you're probably going to be paralyzed for the rest of your life. You ain't going to never walk again. But hold up. I'm going to show you what, how God worked. So we end up going to a little specialist, a back specialist, you know what I mean? And they took x-rays. They was just figuring out, like, damn, he can't walk. He can't move his arms. He can't sit up. You know what I mean? I had to, they had to feed me. They had to wipe my ass. They had to help me pee. You know what I'm saying? And look how my guy worked. So the doctors came up with something. All right. They was going to put me in a full body cast. But what ended up happening was they put me in a half body cast. You know what I'm saying? And... With that half body cast, it was more, I still, when they first put it on, I was, I missed school for six months. So I was out of school. When this happened, I missed school for a whole six months, half of the year. I wasn't even in school. You know what I mean? I'm in, in the hospital. I was in the hospital for like a month, a month and a half straight. You know what I'm saying? Because the doctors wanted to keep an eye on me just to see, you know what I mean? To see if it was going to work. So after a few weeks that, that that when I had they they eventually put the cast on my body, you know what I'm saying? The half cast. They wanted to put me in a full body cast, but then they come up, they're like, we'll put you in a half body cast. So I was in the hospital, slowly but shortly, as the cast got hot harder, eventually I could start my arms would be moving and but slowly but surely. I was starting to function. I was starting to walk. It was hard, but God was with me every step of the way. And the only reason why I walked, and I can say I'm walking to this day, is because of God. That's the only reason. There's no other reason. You know what I'm saying? God was telling me it wasn't my time. You know what I mean? It was just me being a kid playing. You know what I mean? Not knowing. And the, the ambulance says they think that I fell like 37 feet from up in the, the tree. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to give you a little testimony on a little bit of my life, one story of my life to let you know God is real. God got the last say so. 
You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, like, a lot of you, why y'all can't understand me? Because a lot of you ain't been through shit. Now, I can respect somebody and understand somebody, somebody that got shot that really been through something, that had to learn how to walk again. I had to learn how to walk and all that. Now, let's get into the second story, what has to kind of do with this first story. All right, I'm working at this job, you know what I mean? Just got another job, you know, a little forklift operating job, and you know what I mean? I start noticing stuff. Like, like when I go to work, I'm only there for, a, for one reason, to get my bread, do my job, get my bread, and get the fuck out of there. I'm not trying to make friends. I'm not trying to chill with nobody. I ain't on none of that. I'm trying to get my dough and get up out of there. But what happened was I started seeing little demonic devil stuff. People with mad being fake, like wearing masks. People wear masks. They're trying to pretend something that they're not. So I started seeing little stuff, you know what I mean? And then I was uh I, I was going against myself, like meaning like like when I go to work, I wanna try to get the learning system so I can have it down packed so I can, you know what I mean, do me. Well, I knew something went right. I was going hard. And I just didn't understand, like, all right, how are they getting done? Like, I have, we about had the same amount of boxes. I'm going. I'm going. But moral of the story is, they gave me 50 to 60 more boxes than the next man. And there was only three of us picking. But this is how God worked. I'm going to show you how God worked again. For all y'all critics saying God ain't real, I'm going to show you how God worked again. So... Over the weekend, it was about three weeks. I It took me, okay, over the weekend, three weeks ago, I was uh, did my, my little music video for uh, High Life. You know what I'm saying? Did my music video. I was geeked. I did my own music video. I was doing my editing on my... I was geeked. I ain't going to stunt. I was geeked. So I really wasn't doing no heavy lifting or nothing like that. I was doing my video, you know what I mean? Editing my video and all that type stuff. Out of nowhere, my arm, right here on my forearm, it just started. Something happened. I don't know how it happened, but I know now it was God that made it happen. He didn't want me working there no more because he knew it was nothing but devil, demonic demons at this job. So this is how God works. I didn't really get hurt on the job, but I did having to do repetitions and only being there a month. I kind of did, but I was really hurt at home, but it was from the job. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't lifting heavy. It's just something that just happened out of nowhere. And the only thing that it can explain that it was God because it messed up and then it went all in my neck. The moral of the story is that that Sunday before I went back to work that Monday, I'm in the hospital all Sunday. My, it's like I had a pinched nerve. I couldn't move. And it just broke down my whole thing. I couldn't move. I had my, my, my ex-wife take me to the emergency room and it just shows I only had her, nobody else. You know what I mean? Shout out to my mom and dad when, because when I, I had to, within three weeks, I had to teach myself how to walk again. I couldn't use my arms. I could use my arms now. And that is only God. The devil ain't, ain't got powers to do nothing like that. So I'm just letting you know, God is real. You know? And everybody have a blessed day. And that's the only thing. I was just sharing one of my little story. You know what I mean? And I got some more stories as time goes. But like I said, if you tuned in, good looking. You know what I'm saying? Give me a like, share, subscribe. If not, we ain't doing no tripping. All right, peace.